back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Allen. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Play action. Now it's Allen. This is caught by Evans. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A gain there of 21 yards. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive. Come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. From midfield, here's Allen. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. We're scoreless after one. Dylan now on first and 10. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Allen looks to throw on second down to Evans on the slant. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Here's Allen on first and 10. And the ball is loose. Dylan lost it. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. The start of this game has me doing flashbacks and remembering when I was playing and seeing a similar start and seeing the head coach actually take a timeout and gather the whole team around him and tell him everybody to get it together. Let's get some focus going here, because maybe he just sensed that maybe this the whole team wasn't ready to play. Yeah, well, they've gone interception, now fumble. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now they'll audible to something else. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Second and 10.
They'll look to throw. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 26. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A first down carry for Henry. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. This will go to Henry out wide. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Henry out of the pistol. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Derrick Henry with another touchdown, number 24 on the year. And the Rams post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. He hasn't missed an extra point all season, and he won't miss this one either, and it's 7-0. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they are losers of two straight coming into this Thursday night game. Is it more difficult, CD, when you take a losing streak into a quick turnaround game like this? It certainly is because you don't get time to work on the issues that you've had throughout the season that caused you to have the record that you're having. You can't really get those set. So now you're trying to minimize those and maximize what you've been doing well. And I remember a game recently where one of the assistant coaches said to the head coach, forget our running back rotation. This guy has a hot hand, and they rode him to a victory. Those are things you have to look out for in games like this. Now Allen throwing on second down. Short pass caught by Henry. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Allen now on first down. Over the middle to Evans. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. Now Evans in motion left. On first down, Allen. He'll check it down, complete to Dillon. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. 
On second down, Dillon. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Allen going to throw. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Defensively, they came into the game with the understanding they're going to have to slow him down on passes just like this because he was over 100 yards receiving a week ago. And you know they want to get him involved here as well. Draw play, Dillon. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A.J. Dillon, his eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Vikings are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point right down the middle. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. And now an audible here into something else. Second and 15. He's got the connection downfield to Hamler. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. They'll get 34 yards there. They'll drop to throw. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Off the option, here's Henry. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. They work now on second and nine. Now back to throw. A throw left side, hauled in by Hamler. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It's going to be a gain 
of six on the keeper, but it leads to a third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get, so he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Running left, it's Henry. Busts through the tackle. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Patterson's kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. A good tight football game thus far. 10-7 the score as we resume action on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And they've got the lead. C.D., what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Again, it's Henry. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 72 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Out to his left. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Okay, take us to school here, Charles, on a play like that. Pretty successful RPO. What's the quarterback looking at? Basics, he's looking at the defensive end or the outside linebacker. If that player crashes down to take the running back, touchdown! Romeo Dobbs, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Rams take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here, right at the 30-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. 
Now he dumps this off over the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now Allen. It's Dillon again. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Alert, alert, alert. Throwing now is Allen. Quick throw, finding Mike Evans. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. Throwing on first down is Allen. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by D.J. Reed. And the Rams are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. A nice run there on first down as Henry uses his size to plow forward. Call it a pickup of seven. Second down and three. And now they'll shift things around. Second and three. Henry's got it out on the left side. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They go play action here on first down. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked up by Marco Wilson. And the Vikings are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it. And his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. He shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Allen's throw taken in by Evans here. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The throw over the middle, taken in. He went over 100 yards in the wild card round. He's over 100 here as well. And a first down. Half 85, half 85. To the air, Allen. Flushed out right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Back to the air on second down, it's Allen. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First 
that his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Here's Allen on first and 10. He finds his man complete. It's Allen. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. We are headed to the fourth here on Thanksgiving night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Complete, it's Henry. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance, not with him. We've seen it too many times. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Allen to throw once more. He'll dump this down to Dillon. That's complete. And the Vikings are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And now the Rams are going to halt things as they want a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Dillon is in. Touchdown, Minnesota. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. We may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there, and they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to the, on the other side of the ball, said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. They keep it with Henry on first down. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 108 yards rushing for him in this one, and he is drawing ever closer to a 2,000-yard season. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and 10. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. 
Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And the busy night for Henry continues. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Derrick Henry, his second touchdown of the night. And the Rams are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Allen now on first down. Flush to his right, and not wanting to take a shot out of the pocket, he tucks it and goes down. And quickly, they get to the line. Allen looks to throw on second down. Short pass caught by Henry. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Something we haven't really seen much of from him, an incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. Now Allen, got to have this one. And he fends him off. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Not liking the look. They'll change the play. Rolling to his left. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Got exactly what they wanted there out of the RPO and had the defense out of position. One word for you there. Excellent. Because he read all the keys properly, made the right decision, and look at the result. Pretty substantial gain. That one looks like he'll throw here. He'll buy some time right. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Derrick Henry. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Rams look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Yeah. 
And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. At their own 27 yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Facing a big fourth quarter deficit here, things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season, but in this one, well, their defense has really struggled. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. To throw, it's Allen. Short pass caught by Henry. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. On first down, Allen. And this is what here? Incomplete, they say. It looked like it was intercepted, but he apparently did not get the two feet down in bounds. This has been a rough one, to put it mildly for him. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Now, Allen again. Short pass caught by Henry, and they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. One final try here for Allen. And Allen's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. Keenan Allen, 45 yards. And the Vikings have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, I agree with you totally on that one. The Vikings leave the offense on the field as they're going to line up and go for two. Now Allen. Steps away to his left. And he'll get in for the two points as that'll cut the lead down from 11 to 9. And with a successful two point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine on the defense that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes that is the unaccounted for player. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Now back to throw. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big gain there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. Five 
points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. They'll run it again with Henry. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And he is going to be stopped here at the line of scrimmage. And time is going to expire in this football game. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles. But in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear. And they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So for L.A., they continue to be one of the best teams around as they move to 10-2. and two. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Minnesota, they've fallen out of things now as they sink to 3-8. and eight. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.